In this video you will learn how to create a GU subscription to the project we have created previously. We have one SEPAM80 relay configured to the project and it will subscribe to a boost message from a VAMP relay. For any other relay the procedure will be the same. For GU subscription we need to have a configuration file, CID file or IID file. In this exercise a CID file has been created from a VAMP relay including GU's publishing of one digital input. In step 1 choose add IED. Choose other device and add the CID file. Configure it to same subnet and configure the TCP IP address. Parameter Goose Publishing has to be set manually in the Goose control block of the inserted IED. Goose minimum and maximum cycle time has also to be set in case of the fields are empty. Next click on the GSE receive row. In next screen all Goose Publishing is shown from inserted IEDs. We choose the publishing signal from VAMP and add it to the right column and press apply. Goose input info shows some predefined Goose message configuration. In menu section assign Goose inputs we can make a connection to the subscribe ID Goose matrix. In this exercise we make a connection to G405 signal. Then create new version of CID and download it to the ACE module. In next step we use SFT2841 to connect the GOO signal and monitor the status. First, let's take the signal 405 in use in Goose submenu. Next, in Matrix menu section Goose, we connect it to an LED. In maintenance menu we can see the GOO status indication. This update is much slower in SFT than actual GOO's receiving. Changing the status of digital input in VAMP relay will create an activation in the GOO signal in SEPA. We can notify by the LED on the front that actual subscription is much faster than the SFT status update. 